Hey guys, so we're going to tell you some footage of Need for Speed Unbound on PC. My Asus Trix RTX 4090 graphics card. So my last video got abruptly ended, uh, it was my mistake, uh, but uh, we're back on it. Now we're playing at night time and still trying to find out what I have to do to get the DeLorean, which I'm beginning to think is only available online. But I'm going to do some races, have a little fun, piss off some cops, and record some footage. So let me go ahead and show you the graphics settings real quickly. So we're at... Uh, 30, 40 by 2160 on my 4K 144 hertz display. Up sampling is off and DLSS frame generation is off. Don't need that on 4090. HDR is enabled, but it won't be enabled on YouTube until tomorrow because it takes a while to process. And all the graphics settings are fully maxed out uh, as high as they go. And for CPU, I'm running an i9 3900 KF CPU at 5.7 GHz, all core. We'll do some races, have a little fun, and uh, again, I'm trying to find out what I gotta do to win a DeLorean, but I'm be beginning to think that I only could get it on the uh, online mode, so in another video I'll have to do some online playing and build up my uh, car on there, because I never even played the online mode, so we'll do some races, races and have a little fun and enjoy. I know I'm supposed to be a vegan and all, but I just want the chicken, where the money at? Okay. It's like we're it's racing against ASAP Rocky. I didn't know he was vegan. That's interesting. Let's make sure we lose now. We have a suspect in our sights and we are going after them. I'm still going to come first. Don't even matter. Damn, too wide. Yeah, it's pretty hard to lose a race when you're in this vehicle. It's so insane. That was gonna be a quick race, wow. I'm close behind no children. About to lap the uh, AI opponents. Dispatch, patrol is here and leading this chase. There's ASAP Rocky. Oh, so it's like that, huh? That mirror gets in the way of the uh, face of the player. I don't think we can keep on this for, for much longer. Get boosted out of here. Oh, that didn't work out well. Maybe over here I could do it. So yeah, we'll have a little fun, just do some cop chases, and then... I'm assuming that I have to do the online mode to really get the most out of this volume 3 update, but I'll try to do that in a separate video. In the meantime, meantime, we'll play it on PC just to kind of compare to the PS5, which I recorded a lot of footage on, and we'll try to have some fun at the same time. I don't think we got much juice left in us. Yeah. Alright, so let me check my map here, see what I got uh, for races. Any high uh, dollar ones? Not really. So let me just uh, go to the shop and uh, see if there's anything new that comes up on the uh, about to get busted here. Or not busted, but seen. Let's see if anything new comes up on the map.
that's kind of new that this cache entered this week at the end. It didn't really show that before, so that's something new that I noticed. It's a new car here. Guess not. See, so yeah, I think I'll have to do the online mode, I think. To uh, get the new car. Got a delivery job there. Maybe I'll do that. Oops, I didn't mean back out of there. Looks like we're back to daytime now. It's rain. Yeah, those rain jobs look so much more like detailed on the PC. Like you could really see the the quality of the textures are so much more higher end. And again, this isn't really like a really like a gravity demanding game, but I could definitely tell the difference compared to the PS5, which still looks good for what it is, but it looks really like crisp on here. And then the Cyberpunk Phantom Liberty update, uh, or add-on, expansion, whatever you want to call it, that comes out, uh, I think it was September, if I remember correctly. It's in a few months, but, uh, that'll be fun to definitely try out, which I'll definitely get. And that'll be cool to, uh, play that game and see how that is. Supposedly they raised the graphics requirements of the game, but I shouldn't have no issue on my, on my rig, but... And then I know there's a new, uh, The Crew game coming out. I think that's also in September. I've seen some videos on it, it really, really looked actually really good, like the neon and lighting and stuff looked really, really good. It kind of reminded me of Forza Horizon 5. But I saw a few, uh, YouTubers who got early access to a earlier build of the game and it looked really, really good. So that'd be interesting to try out. Even though I'm not a big fan of Ubisoft titles, but... it be worth trying out. Maybe they'll have a demo or something to be kind of cool to test out. But visually, it looks really good. Try to smash the one of these cops. Missed my turn. So maybe we'll just do one more race, and then, uh, like I said, in a separate video, I'll try to do some online mode, and we'll see what we can do online, which is mainly the main focus of the Volume Three update. Which is unfortunate. I wish they did some uh, offline story mode add-ons too, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe there is that Delorean available. I'm not sure, but I guess we'll have to find out. Uh, I'll watch some other YouTube videos to see uh, how they added that, or how that works. My guess is you gotta unlock it online and then you can have it available on the uh, offline mode maybe. Either way, I'm recording some footage and it's still gameplay so it's still kind of fun to play. Driving like crap though.
pretty decent reward. Terrible launch. Man, you know Flacco about that chicken. What a cash it. Step Rocky. Sometimes some of these cars grip so good that the only way to turn is to use the e brake, which I've been using a few times on some of these cars, but they grip so good that you need to find a way to lose the back end better. It kind of varies, but sometimes I have to use the e brake to uh, make these sharp turns. Which isn't really ideal because you lose speed. There are more important things than racing. We've got the LPD on us. Let's lose them. Going after the suspect. That is disrespectful. He's a pretty formidable opponent, though. He's keeping up pretty well. So maybe briefly I'll just go into your online mode, which I like I said I've never done, but I'll just go to it. I think they give you a million dollars uh, with this patch, because I he heard from what I seen online is they uh, reset the stats or something online. I can't remember what it was, but let me get away from these cops, go to uh, the garage, and then I'll just briefly start the online mode. Let's see where I'm at right now. So I guess I will go here. We lost that suspect somewhere at Dew Point View. Pursuit is all, team. And I'll just start the online mode to see if it shows anything that I gotta do when I start it. And then on a separate video, I'll actually do a longer duration of the online video. Or you know what, maybe I'll just uh, make it a separate video, because that way it won't make this video so long and take for a bit of load. So I'll just probably end it here, and we'll go to the home base, and uh, we'll take things from there. Damn, we just took a serious hit back there. And in the meantime, I'll watch some videos online, which maybe will help guide me on the online mode stuff to do. I was following the wrong thing. Okay, so I gotta go through. I guess that checkpoint thing threw me off. Turned around. This place is hit us. I see our scum bag in a conic sack. This is dispatch. Per blast spotted at two point view. Anyways, uh, thank you for watching. Appreciate all support. Stay positive in life, and then uh, for the next video, I'll record uh, some online footage on PC. Since I don't have a PSN uh, subscription to online PS Plus or whatever it's called, and uh, we'll take things from there. So stay tuned for that video, and uh, from then on, uh, I guess we'll have to see uh, what it takes to uh, get on the online portion of the game. So thanks for watching, and see you guys in the next video. Peace out.